All right, guys, hey, it is Michael. Um, we're going to keep going. We're going to talk about creating a database, and we're going to actually create one real quick in under 15 minutes, which is what YouTube gives me. Um, you go to visualstudio.com, okay? Um, and we're going to download Visual Studio 2013 Web Edition. Uh, so you don't have to pay anything for it. It's actually free, right? So if we go to downloads here, uh, feel free to explore visualstudio.com amazing stuff there's some cool downloads there's some cool products there's some cool tutorials on stuff talk about how to work with visual studio online uh, which is one of those things that you also get with the download so let's go to click on downloads here uh, visual studio there is ultimate 2013 which is really nice in ultimate you get the architect tab which actually lets you drill down into the dependencies in your projects premium doesn't have architect um, professional is great test professional is great blah 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 and Team Foundation Server is what you're going to get a little piece of online. So these are the free ones, Visual Studio Express. Okay, so we're going to go Visual Studio Express 2013 for web, right? Because that's what we're going to be designing. Uh, you can do for Windows, which is going to give you something else for like Presentation Foundation. But um, Microsoft Visual Studio Express 2013 for web, uh, go ahead and choose whatever. You can get the install now or you can get the ISO image, mount that, and then go ahead and uh, Go through the rest of stuff here okay so once you download it um i'm gonna go ahead and open an instance real quick of uh visual studio what it's gonna look like 2013 okay um i am uh hold on let me see if i can open another one give me one sec sorry guys uh let me get over here all right i'm gonna pull it up one second um All right, let me, uh, what is this? Okay, let me go ahead and get some different stuff up here. All right, so pull this over so you guys can see it. This is Visual Studio 2013. Uh, pretty amazing things in this. It's pretty great um, IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Um, this is also, if you've never thought about this before, we're developing on ASP.NET, right? But Visual Studio 2013 is also an ASP.NET application. So when you guys are run, running maybe a BAT file to refresh your dependencies, sometimes you have to have Visual Studio closed um, in order to get those dependencies to run through correctly just because of the way that the IDE gets set up. So let's go Express 2013 for web. Click New Project. And I don't remember if I downloaded SQL Server data tools. If you don't have this option in here, go ahead and select it. But when you go to install, choose, um, I remember it's default settings, it should be Visual C Sharp, right? Because that's what we're going to be using. Um, and then we're going to work on getting this Windows Azure SDK for .NET, right? Um, so let's go ahead and, and do that real quick. Uh, we're going to click on this get. We don't have to have a name for it, right? We're just going to get the Windows Azure SDK for .NET. And then I'm going to go ahead, click download, because um, we're going to need that for some of the stuff that we're going to use with Management Studio and the database project, right? So click run um, this pack. And then I'm going to go ahead and click run. I'm going to let this install. It's going to bring up an installer that I brought up in my other screen, right? It's going to pull down the Microsoft Web Platform Installer, which I don't really like, but you're going to download your Windows Azure SDK from there. Um, Windows Azure SDK is not limited on version. So what I mean by that is if you built something with June 2012 or July 2012, you're going to need the June or July 2012 SDK until you actually update your project for the brand new, whatever the newest Windows Azure SDK is, right? So this one's going to come with a certain version, you know, build the bug, run everything, package stuff up. But then when the new one comes out, you're going to want to download that and update your project so that they match that. So while that's going, I'm going to go ahead, stop this tutorial. And um, the next one, we're going to create a database project. OK, if you don't have that data tab in there, go ahead and uh, download SQL, Azure data tools or data project tools or whatever from um, Visual Studio and get that added in. Okay. All right. 